Hi again, I'm Benjamin Apple and you are watching Questions and Answers, the web series where I answer viewers' questions. Today's question is from Jerry Seinfeld, who writes, According to most studies, people's number one fear is public speaking. Number two is death. Death is number two. Does that sound right? This means to the average person, if you go to a funeral, you're better off in the casket than doing the eulogy. Thank you for writing in, Jerry. The short answer here to your question is yes. Now, there's a couple of wrinkles here to address. The, the long answer is no. But let's get started. First of all, fear of public speaking being someone's number one fear doesn't necessarily mean that they fear public speaking more than they fear death. The fear of death is the strongest fear. The instinct for self-preservation and the fear of the unknown, these are the most basic and primal human urges. However, in our day-to-day -day life, we find that we have an extraordinary ability to distract ourselves from thinking about our, our mortality, even to such an extent that one may actually forget about the inevitability of death for indefinite periods of time. Not only does this distraction happen unintentionally, it also happens on purpose. Pascal said, to be happy, man would have to make himself immortal, but not being able to do so, it has occurred to him to prevent himself from thinking of death. And so we see that if you ask a person what their number one fear is, the truth, the ultimate honest truth is that they fear death above all. However, the fear of death is so overpoweringly horrific and insurmountable that one's subconscious has no choice but to block it out completely, uh, which evacuates the position of number one fear, uh, leaving only relatively mundane fears such as the fear of public speaking to take its place. So you can see how someone could honestly say that their number one fear was public speaking while they would actually be wrong about what their number one fear uh, would be. So thank you for writing, Jerry. This was an interesting question. I hope that this helped you. And please, everyone, keep sending your questions in to questionsandanswers.series at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.